Hello and welcome once again to another episode of Open Talk. In today's episode, our guest is Dr. Hashim Hussain, who is the head of UNIDO ITPO Bahrain and the Arab Regional Center for Entrepreneurship and Investment Training. He will share with us about the international conference under the theme Entrepreneurship and Innovation, which is under the patronage of Her Highness Sheikh Hassa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Executive Director of Injaz Bahrain. The Kingdom University, in cooperation with the UNIDO Investment and Technology Promotion Office and the Arab International Center for Entrepreneurship and Investment. Welcome to our show, Dr. Hashim. Thank you. To start, up, to start with, can you tell me about the conference? Well, you know, the conference, uh, the idea came in, in partnership with the Kingdom University that uh, how we can share best practices and experiences from educational and knowledge systems, you know, mm. on, on, on innovation and entrepreneurship. Today, you know, through the Bahrain model, which we have developed and initiated uh, in Bahrain in cooperation with the Minister of Industry and Commerce and Tourism and the Bahrain Development Bank, today we are implementing this program in more than 52 countries. Mm -hmm. And we have realized that uh, the educational system is very important, you know, to, to enhance the ecosystem for entrepreneurship. Uh, at, um, so this is why we started to develop this kind of centers at universities. Mm -hmm. uh, we're having a number of universities which we have been working with them, like Shanghai University, like uh, Istanbul Technical uh, University, like Kuwait University, like Sudan Technology University, like University of Khartoum, like the University of Alexandria, the Arab um, um, Maritime and Technology University, mm -hmm. um, here in Bahrain, of course, a number of, of universities and others. Um, we wanted to share uh, how the Bahrain model have evolved and how through the educational systems we, we managed to bring more and more um, innovators and entrepreneurs mm -hmm. in, the, in, the field, in the field of business. And of course, this is the first year, you know, we're having, um, we're going to have more than, um, I think we're having more than 60 speakers, you okay, know, nice. uh, in, different, uh, in different panels. Mm -hmm. And of course, also, we're, we're, we're going to link uh, uh, the education at the primary and secondary level till, till, of course, we reach universities. And we are going to organize this conference every year in Bahrain okay. to bring this knowledge and, and best practices and how we can share it with other universities and, of course, the educational system. And so how, knowing that uh, youth are very important in our society, how important, uh, I know with this, with this conference you'll target uh, target showing them how to be innovative and stuff. How do you think, how th does this add to their knowledge? You know, um, the problem on, 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 our, on our educational system, especially if we look, to look in Bahrain and other Arab countries in the region, that we, we have what we call classical uh, kind of education that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we go to school and we go to universities and then we're just looking for jobs, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, well, that was fine. Maybe it was working till 10, 15 years back. But today, uh, even if you're, if you're a graduate from medical school or engineer, still, you know, the jobs are not there. This mm -hmm. is from one angle. There's another angle, you know, we're talking on, um, about uh, the coming 4.0, mm -hmm. you know, in, uh, Industry 4.0 and the digital revolution, that if we don't change quickly and adapt to this new kind of education, you know, we are going to be in a very backward, you know. Mm -hmm. Today, the more than 60% of the um, world population between the age of, uh, of, 10, of 10 to 18, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in the coming five to 10 years, they will come to the, what we call the labor market, mm -hmm. you know. So um, we have to bring innovation and entrepreneurship that uh, I, don't, I don't just go to the school and, and go to the university and then look for a job, mm -hmm. you know. We want to reverse that cycle. We want to see innovation and entrepreneurship at a very early age that people have to look into several options for their future career, you know, mm -hmm. not just to look for a job, you know. Of course. And then um, also, you know, we have been realizing that innovation is the mother of entrepreneurship and leadership. Okay. We have to make people to be innovative in their way of life, in their educational system, in their career, mm -hmm. career future. The classical uh, education which uh, we inherited, uh, you know, for a long time in the region, uh, if you talk about the Otto Ottoman Empire, you know, which is uh, mainly looking for the public, um, you know, civil servant as, as a prestige or honor mm -hmm. in society. And then over the last 200, 150 years with the um, 
with the colonials, you know, they have brought good education, but it's too, it was too classical mm -hmm. just to take you to administrative and uh, to just for a public public jobs, you know. Okay. Uh, uh, so we have uh, to work uh, rapidly and urgently mm -hmm. to start uh, uh, working on the educational system, how to boost innovation and entrepreneurship. This is will allow us to bring more uh, innovation in, in, in the region, will allow us to bring more entrepreneurs, uh, you know, micro and small and, and, and me medium businesses. We need to look into how we can uh, develop technologies and how we can, we can adapt technologies if we want to match it to go in line with the uh, forthcoming digital, digital revolution. And of course, the digital revolution is going very fast. It's yes. going very fast. According to a lot of uh, research, uh, recently I've been talking by the year 2020, uh, 20, 2022, uh, the world will start losing uh, 5 million jobs. Wow. Those are professional jobs. Those are people already in, in their uh, jobs. Uh, in their jobs. Mm. So what about the new mm -hmm. comers in the, in, the, in the jobs or in the labor market? You know? So um, education, you know, it is, uh, it is the base for bringing knowledge and, and making people to start looking for their uh, economic security or, their, or their, their career career in life. So I know that you, you have helped, you have organized a lot of uh, things when it comes to the youth. How, I know that, uh, how important are the youth to you? Well, as, uh, you know, as I've just mentioned now, you know, th the figures, mm -hmm. you know, we have more than 60 or 60 65% of the world population today that are between the age of 10 to 18, Yeah, you know? <coughs> so uh, the youth are always, you know, the future of any society or any community or any nation. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for example, here in, in Bahrain, uh, we started actually uh, uh, with the economic reforms of His Majesty King Hamad, mm -hmm. when he started to, to do the economic reforms, and um, uh, he has been uh, requesting and pushing and putting visions that the, the youth have to you know, have to carry on on the economic apparatus of, of the country. Mm -hmm. And this is what made the Bahrain model to be very famous. And this is why in 2000 <coughs> and um, 2016, when UNIDO has, uh, has uh, uh, been working on the 50th anniversary of mm -hmm. UNIDO, they have uh, also acknowledged 20 years of ITPO Bahrain you know, initiative in, uh, in, in helping the youth. Mm -hmm. And this is all came from, from the vision of His Majesty the King. And this is why you need to, for the first time in their history, they award, uh, they, they provide an award have been provided to His Majesty the King, because from, from his vision evolved that Bahrain model where millions of mm -hmm. uh, uh, youth worldwide have benefited from that model. That's amazing. No, um, I'm, not right, I'm not sure about the figure, but I think uh, there are around 85% entrepreneurs in Bahrain, which is which is a big it's a big um, it's a big part of the market. Uh, how do you find that helping Bahrain's economy? Well, you know, last um, in the, the patronage of His Royal Highness uh, Prince Khalifa, if uh, you know the Prime Minister, we have organized the Second World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum. Okay, and. Um, uh, Mr. Gutierrez, you know, the Secretary General of, of the UN, mm -hmm. has forwarded a video message. And his video message, he has uh, acknowledged, you know, the Bahrain model and how the Bahrain model has helped uh, more than 6,000 entrepreneurs in Bahrain mm -hmm. and uh, with accumulation of wealth of exceed $2 billion and creation of 16,000 jobs. This is in Bahrain. And then he, he, uh, he also uh, acknowledge that this model, how it's being now working in 52 countries. This is coming from the Secretary General of the UN. That's right. Mr. Mutaralef, you know, who is the President of the of the General Assembly, he's the most, uh, we'll say, senior figure in the UN. Mm -hmm. He came for Bahrain only for 24 hours wow. to attend the closing ceremony of the World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum and actually also to, to receive, you know, that I handed him to over the uh, Second Manama Declaration for Entrepreneurship which has been adopted by the General Assembly uh, of the UN. Yes. Uh, and uh, I, I remember before his uh, taking his plane coming to Bahrain, he had a press conference and I asked him, why are you going to Bahrain that far for only 24 hours? Mm -hmm. uh, he said because the 72nd, uh, 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 the 72nd session of the General Assembly, the theme is people. Okay. And when we talk about people, when we talk about 
economy we talk about the use mm -hmm. and they say this is why i'm going to that very important event where you know we had more than 1200 entrepreneurs okay. from 90 countries wow. you know and scholars and researchers and financial institutions ngos private sector all of the dealing or micro small businesses attended that uh, that forum so uh, yes, you have well, uh, when, we, when, we, when we talk and we bring the, the, the issue of youth, this is where we have to look into our future. Mm -hmm. and this is where we have to prepare them you course, know, for, yeah. the, for the future in Bahrain, in the region and, and worldwide. Worldwide, of course. And Dr. Hashim, so seeing Bahrain being at this level at the moment, where do you see Bahrain in the future, like, let's say 10 to 15 years from now? Well, today, which is I'm very proud, and honored today when we talk about entrepreneurship the whole world knows Bahrain mm -hmm. uh, that small island you know uh, um, you know um, you know I'm, 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 I'm an international civil servant you know yeah. I work for the UN and when I say this I say it with neutrality and objectivity mm -hmm. uh, in uh, in the field of entrepreneurship uh, wherever you go uh, if you go to centers you go to uh, universities you go to ministries you know you go to international organizations they know the Bahrain model. Okay. So, uh, and I think uh, the, Bahra the importance of the Bahrain model is the Bahraini use. Mm -hmm. What we have been working and what we have been doing in partnership with a number of uh, ministries uh, in Bahrain, financial institutions, to do Tamkeen, Bahrain Development Bank, you name it. We, we're just doing the facilitation. Mm -hmm. But the Bahraini use, they're the one who became very successful. We have a number of Bahraini entrepreneurs which they started with, uh, you know, very small amount of uh, investment, their uh, enterprises, you know, have evolved and reached a target of more than one, one million dollars, you know. Amazing. So uh, I, I, I personally believe on Bahraini use. I, I believe on their innovation. I believe on their discipline. I believe in their, co cons uh, how consistent they are when they come to develop a business and especially Bahraini women, you know. I. Uh, you know, just a few days back, you know, we had the um, International Women's Day. Yeah. And here I celebrate uh, all Bahraini business women. And I also congratulate three uh, women entrepreneurs that are part uh, of, of the election, which came yesterday. Congratulations for all Bahrain of uh, the democratization, even of the private sector. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud, you know, Sheikha Hind or Batul Dadabai or, or Sonia. They're, they're all, I've been all working with them. You know, they're all, they're Sheikh they're Ahind, yeah. actually, she's our ambassador of creative, mm -hmm. uh, of creativity, but tool that Dubai and Sonia, we've been working with them, supporting their, uh, their businesses. Mm -hmm. So, uh, congratulations uh, for Bahrain and for the Bahraini women entrepreneurs. And also for Yann Nas, you know, well, she's in the, in the pipeline. Also, yeah. she's, uh, yeah. we've been very actively working with her and, and we hope in the future we'll have more and more, more, more Bahraini women. Actually, the participation of Bahraini women in our program exceeds 60, uh, 60 percent. Okay. You know, and when I have been honored to work with Mrs. Satnana Zayani to work on the national uh, strategy for um, uh, women empowerment in Bahrain, you know, uh, under the, um, uh, the Supreme Council of Environment, we put that strategy. I was, I was, I was, I was an advisor to the to the committee. But we put that strategy and became one of the best strategies in the Arab, in the Arab region for economic empowerment for women. And this is why today we have reached a target exceeding 60% of our um, attendance in our program that are, that are women, women entrepreneurs. And not only number, but they're very successful. Well, it's amazing. It's amazing to see uh, Bahrain in this, uh, in this step. Having, uh, yes, yeah, as you said, we have a lot of Bahraini women that are out there. Bahraini women are being empowered, and that is very important. Um, what, you, uh, what other events, upcoming events, do you have? Well, you know, uh, during the, the, world the Second World Entrepreneurs Forum, we have signed uh, an MOU with uh, uh, the World uh, Dubai Expo 2020. Okay. And actually, we're the first UN organization to sign the to sign that agreement. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually the theme of Dubai Expo is creativity and innovation. Okay. And now we have developed with them a consultancy committee mm -hmm. where we will be working with them uh, through the Bahrain model. And, and, and they're going to host the WEF, the World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum, where it's the secretary is in our office in Bahrain. 
they're going to host uh, the the WEF 2020 is going to be during the Dubai Expo, but mm -hmm. it's going to be for six months. Okay. For oct from October 2020 to March 2021. But we're working from today because we have three phases mm -hmm. from today till the expo and then during the expo and beyond the expo. Okay. Um, we're going to work with them on how we will sustain, you know, innovation and, and, and entrepreneurship. Um, they have been requested from us that we, that we need to bring t more than 10,000 entrepreneurs from the Bahrain model from okay. worldwide, but we'll focus on Sub-Saharan Africa and the MENA region mm -hmm. because uh, their, their, their vision is that through economic empowerment and actually we share that vision, they will uh, combat uh, the issue of terrorism and immigration, which is uh, uh, a big uh, problem today and is growing in the Middle East, in the MENA region and uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa. So uh, this is going to be a major, major, major uh, um, program and event, you know, and we believe it will change the life of millions of, course. of, of the youth. Um, um, and also we are going to have in, um, in August of this year in, in Shenzhen, mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in, in China, the International uh, Youth Ambassadors Conference. Okay. We are expecting to work uh, and to bring more than 5,000 uh, uh, youth ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Those are mainly our uh, students and scholars from different uh, universities worldwide and uh, also from, from, from China. Mm -hmm. uh, Chinese and, um, and expats which are studying in China to, to, to listen to them mm -hmm. and, 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 and we have a dialogue with them how, how they see and foresee the future and also we'll bring of course our, uh, our inputs into that. Uh <coughs> We're also working with the G5 uh, Sahel, which is Mauritania, Burkina Faso, Niger, uh, Chad, and, and Mauritania to develop economic empowerment program. This is uh, plus one, which is Sudan. So this is going to be a very important program also. Uh, today, this region faces a lot of problems of security, which is more and more a lot of countries uh, worldwide are supporting them. Mm -hmm. But we will be working on the economic empowerment. This is in cooperation with the Arab Bank uh, for development uh, of Africa. Okay. We are working in developing a number of non-financial services uh, with Al-Ahli Bank in, uh, in Egypt. We're going to start this program in two weeks time with uh, the um, small and medium uh, fund in, in Morocco, with France Bank in, uh, in Lebanon, with Bank of Khartoum in Sudan. Those are new uh, initiatives we're working in how we bring the private sector and financial institutions to support the youth. Mm -hmm. Also, we are going to have a big event on 11th of, of June in New York, in the General Assembly. It, it's a dialogue okay. um, to look into the challenges and the difficulties for the private sector to support the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. Okay. And we're working with the Arab Banking Association and the Bahrain Banking Association on sustainable finance. Mm -hmm. uh, so. We'll, we'll work on the, on the best practice and experience of the Bahrain model, where we have been sharing our model and always partner partnering with financial institutions, developmental and, and commercial. Uh, in terms of developmental, we've been working with the Islamic Development Bank, with the Kuwait Fund, with the Saudi Fund, with the Arab Bank for Development of Africa, commercial bank and investment bank like the Kuwait uh, Finance House, like, mm -hmm. uh, like um, France Bank, like Al Ahli Bank, uh, and a number of Fine. commercial institutions okay. that we have been working with them mm -hmm. to support micro and this is actually the essence and the success of the Bahrain model how we develop partnership to access to finance well it, it's great that to see all these commercial uh, these banks are actually wanting to c to promote all these you youth and work with them sure actually we, we we came from a very simple equation that banks are there to finance the mm -hmm. banks they, they want to require um, I would say c uh, confidence. They want to minimize their risks. Okay. So through the Bahrain model, we're not only bringing a viable banking business plan, mm -hmm. we're bringing a quality entrepreneur A eh, with, with skills where he can manage and, when, and, and he can grow with the, with the enterprise. Mm -hmm. So this is mani more and more minimizing the risks you know, for the banks. Yeah. This is why more and more commercial banks are coming to ask their our assistance to develop non-financial services within you know, their, 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 their private or commercial or commercial banking. So, uh, Dr. Hashim, would you like to say any last words uh, to everyone, all, all the youth out there? Actually, uh, you know, for this coming conference, actu uh, you know, this is going to be 
uh, a very important conference where we will start sharing our best practices through the Bahrain model in this number of universities. And we're going to have, of course, um, um, uh, a booklet on, 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 on the conference which will share it globally, okay. you know, with worldwide how universities and educational system, especially, you know, you know as you know, uh, Her Highness Sheikh Hissa, you know, the, the chief executive of, of, of Injaz, it is under her patronage where it's very clear that we will, we're going to link the education from primary to secondary. Mm -hmm. And of course, Injaz is one of the most successful uh, uh, programs, you know, uh, in the region. And how we can share that to other countries in terms of the overall or the holistic educational system from primary to universities and beyond. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, you know, this is another medal, uh, you know, on Bahrain and and on the Bahrain model, and from the, um, from the kingdom, that small island, how we are sharing knowledge and information to the youth, uh, you know, worldwide. So uh, I'd like to thank, of course, uh, Bahrain TV, you're always uh, uh, supporting, you know, the especially the youth. And um, I, I congratulate again the youth, you know, women and men in Bahrain and worldwide. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for your kind words. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Once again, our guest was Dr. Hashim Hussain, who is the head of UNIDO ITPO Bahrain, and he is the president of the Arab Regional Center for Entrepreneurship and Investment Training.